March 30th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, John chapter 21 of the New Testament. After this, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. Now this is how he did so. Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel, who was from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples of his were together. Simon Peter told them, I am going fishing. We will go with you, they replied. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already very early morning, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. So Jesus said to them, Children, you don't have any fish, do you? They replied, No. He told them, Throw your net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they threw the net and were not able to pull it in because of the large number of fish. Then the disciple, whom Jesus loved, said to Peter, It is the Lord! So Simon Peter, when he heard that it was the Lord, tucked in his outer garment, for he had nothing on underneath it, and plunged into the sea. Meanwhile, the other disciples came with the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from land, only about a hundred yards. When they got out on the beach, they saw a charcoal fire ready with a fish placed on it and bread. Jesus said, bring some of the fish you have just now caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and pulled the net to shore. It was full of large fish, 153, but although there were so many, the net was not torn. Come have breakfast, Jesus said, but none of the disciples dared to ask him, who are you? Because they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. Then when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these do? He replied, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus told him, Feed my lambs. Jesus said a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He replied, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus told him, Shepherd my sheep. Jesus said a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that Jesus asked him a third time, Do you love me? And said, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus replied, Feed my sheep. I tell you the solemn truth. When you were young, you tied your clothes around you and went wherever you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and others will tie you up and bring you where you do not want to go. Now Jesus said this to indicate clearly by what kind of death Peter was going to glorify God. And after he said this, Jesus told Peter, follow me. Peter turned around and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. This was the disciple who had leaned back against Jesus' chest at the meal and asked, Lord, who is the one who is going to betray you? So when Peter saw him, he asked Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus replied, If I want him to live until I come back, what concern is that of yours? You follow me. So the saying circulated among the brothers and sisters that this disciple was not going to die. But Jesus did not say to him that he was not going to die, but rather if I want him to live until I come back, what concern is that of yours? This is the disciple who testifies about these things and has written these things, and we know that his testimony is true. There are many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them were written down, I suppose the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. God, every day I just want to wake up and be like Simon Peter. So excited to spend another day with you. So excited that I just tuck everything in and jump into the cold water and swim to shore to see you, uh, even though I'm not very far out. You can just see the excitement in him that just overtakes him as though he's a little kid, two or three years old at Christmas time. God, I want that joy always to live inside of me. I know being a Christian doesn't mean that my life will be comfortable. It means it won't be easy. It means that I will have the same problems and issues that everybody else does. 
But I also know there's this amazing peace that lives inside my heart. And I just wanted to always be filled with that type of awestruck love that Simon Peter had for you. Simon Peter had screwed up a lot in his life and probably went on to do so just like all of us broken people. But his childlike passion for you, God, just shines through in how he reacted to the words Jesus said to him. Allow us to be like that every single day with that childlike faith. That excitement of getting to spend another day learning about you, telling other people about you. And loving your sheep. God, thank you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen.